question is that if two scholars or two opinions depend and rely on an authentic hadith, so how would a layman know which one to follow? Because both, both of them are uh, uh, following the authentic hadith. The answer would always be, Akhi, if you're a layman and you're unable to distinguish which one is correct and which one is not, which one abrogated the other one, though both are, are, are sahih, but one of them abrogated the other, you have to know because there are levels of uh, combining and trying to uh, find the solution for two conflicting hadiths or two f conflicting evidences because they all come from Allah. They cannot conflict. They cannot contradict. The problem is in our thinking or in other processes of understanding the evidences. So if you're a layman and you are unequipped, you're not qualified to look into these evidences, you should have from day one have picked one scholar and you should have followed him in all what he says and take his understanding to meet Allah Azza wa with that. Not to ch do uh, cherry picking and, and selecting whatever suits your desire, if you're a layman. But if you're a student of knowledge, if you are qualified to look into the evidences and know which is authentic and which is not, which is uh, um, um, general and which is specific, which is muqayyad, which is mutlaq, etc., in this, this case, you can look into that. 